Good evening and welcome to this special installment of that Demokratiska Böhme. A very special installment where I tried to take the, the latest publicly released uh, test branch of the game and load up my trusted old that trusted old Democratic Bohemia in it uh, to see what happened. And uh, it turns out after playing through uh, a while that a lot of things broke that I am uh, quite dependent upon in my republic. Uh, so, but I still wanted to keep this one around because I really did enjoy the ride through the Republic here on the, the first-person camera from, from this train. Uh, so, uh, normal... Uh, yes, with that in mind, t uh, nothing that is said uh, later on here in, in the coming episode, in, the, in this episode, uh, should be regarded as <laughs> truth or canon. This is a non-canonical installment of uh, the Democratic Skabana. So after the rather abrupt cut that is coming up here, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the ride through the Democratic Burma on this train. Please enjoy. And excuse the rather abrupt uh, transition of a piece of the Republic there, but we are now <laughs> rolling again. And as we can see, we are rolling from a completely new perspective. One that has not been seen so far in that Demokratiska Burma. A first person view from a train. Uh, and I just loaded up the, uh, the old save game uh, in the new public version, public test version, which was released just a few days ago and apparently it is crashing a lot for people. Uh, but I really wanted this uh, I really wanted to sit in front on on front of the train and have a look uh, so I installed it and uh, my feeling is that if you don't touch the new and very 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 exciting stuff that's that this version has going on for it if you don't touch that for a while uh, for, so for the next uh, couple of weeks uh, they will come up with uh, bug fixes for those things and a thing like this is uh, perfectly safe to use <coughs> knock on wood maybe and because the game has been running for i don't know maybe uh, four five minutes or something something like that uh, and uh, it resumed just where the last episode left off i think i've gone through this before i'm going through it again and we are on the train uh, that we left off. We don't know how many passes it have, uh, has, ha has managed to have uh, back and forth from the vehicles factory to the motor, but uh, I imagine it has been quite few. And uh, we are approaching Södertälje. We are going past Göteborg. And we are approaching Södertälje up here, on which, uh, which is on a slightly higher elevation apparently than Göteborg. Uh, which makes perfect sense since Yatvori is uh, uh, more or less sea level. Yes. Uh, we should. Uh, apparently, we go this way here. I have never seen my uh, my rails from the rails of the Republic from this perspective before. Uh, what are you doing? Weren't you almost right? So, I don't know what I'm looking at, but you went to fill up and. That may mean that you did something stupid. If you now turn around, or if you... Where are you? Should we jump off and see? Well, the gamble is uh, then that... Uh, the new stuff, as long as I don't use it, uh, even though it may be very tempting to do so, uh, it should not break my game, or crash my game. And uh, so far, the, the uh, stress test of riding first person on this uh, train for... A long time has, uh, yes, how long did I say it was? 45 minutes? And even more now since I've been uh, blathering about, about it. Yes. And where the hell are we? Where the hell are we? I mean, it's a really new perspective on things. And I'm just trying to figure out. I, I did have, have my bearings uh, up until recently, but then as this train went for a refuel, it, it, it did so in a. In a weird place and yes having um, <laughs> had a second thought on why uh, the ghost locomotive of previous uh, was 
acting so weirdly. One, uh, if one were to inspect the locomotive in question carefully, one could plainly see that it had pantographs uh, on it. Yes, indeed. So, uh, which means that it was, of course, an electrical locomotive. So I must have not have clicked the uh, diesel locomotive, and that's why I found this glorious, powerful train and thought, yes, let's have that. And no, I wouldn't have. Uh, I couldn't have. Anyway, we're still low. Where the hell are we? Are we going past another train diesel station? I imagine that I mean, since it is possible to get to, back to Södertälje. Here. We are now up, out by the Lenin statues. Did I say so? Uh, and we were. Why are we here? Why is this train? Okay, this makes. Right, we're going this way. Past the Lenin statues. Okay, I think I know my rail network enough now. We should be taking a left here. And I think I know what this train train is thinking at this point, if the, that even makes sense. And that is, it will go all the way across uh, the, the craziest intersection that we have <laughs> here, coming up uh, soon, which is by the steel mill. Uh, I really, really enjoy this, <laughs> being, finally being able to sit in front of my train and ride it. That is fantastic. The audio engine is, though, a bit uh, literal in the in the sense that I am sitting in front of the train, so absolutely zero audio comes out of the front here. That may explain some of the compu confusion initially uh, here. But yes, it would appear that we're heading for the steel mill area, and uh, the stall the stall area is simply called stall. Uh, so we're head heading for stall here on the, our vehicle exporting train. I wonder if it is his uh, vehicle. It should be. It should be. I hope it is. Uh, <laughs> yes, glorious look at uh, Hamster Yard here by the lake. I wonder if we could get a glimpse of the, the most beautiful pub in all of the Republic here through the buildings out. It's right by the river or lake or but it's, uh, no we could not get a view of the pub but we, but we are certain that it is there and people are enjoying it we do not across a traffic uh, problem at this point um, We won't be too long to fit in here because this is a sign for steel trains. Even though it is, it is on the. Uh... Now this is exciting because we we don't know what's going on behind here. Imagine being a train driver here. You have a red signal and you have heard of the stall area, or maybe you've gone through it before, and you just know that this place is such a complete and fantastic piece of engineering by, by our great leader course and uh, if it's a red signal I am waiting and that may take time meanwhile I may may have the opportunity to spot the train there for example he might pont pontificate I believe it's a in an iron train uh, <laughs> that's uh, left forward uh, they're driving the iron train of course they have uh, intercom radios what am I thinking they're talking hey left what are you hauling uh, I'm I'm nothing hauling I've left off uh, a lot of iron here from from Kiruna or from Svapava you know yes and uh, and what are you up to uh, um, I um, I took the, a slightly uh, crazy route to, to fuel up and now I have to go around all of the country in order to get back on the line I'm supposed to be at, you know. Aha, uh -huh, I see, you did that. Uh, <coughs> and, and you can imagine how it goes on in that fashion. The light though is still... We can look at the steel wheel. How, how nice is that? Uh, that ain't bad. From, from such a low perspective as well. That's really nice to have this. And... I am free to look at the sky. Most excellent. I would like to be able to zoom out or increase the field of view a little bit. But this will suffice rather nicely. 
What is this? That is an alcohol train. I think. Yes. Oh, what are we? Yes, we should go left. If I am on the train that I think I'm on. Yes, we will go through here. We will go down the valley here and over the bridge. And then on the... Uh, I suppose it is called uh, hmm, Malmbanan. Yes, Malmbanan. The uh, uh, or <coughs> the uh, or railway, or line. The or line, of course. <coughs> the or line. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. <coughs> yes, the or line. And yes, we can finally have a proper look from the train driver's perspective at the trolley bus, which we just missed because I got a little bit of a frog in the throat, you know. <coughs> yes, <coughs> and we will be going over here eventually. The brakes are pretty good on this train. It appears to be able to stop from around 100 to, to zero in a very short distance. Uh, yes, that's good. A, a great engineering of and yes we can also have a look at the piece of great engineering here from <coughs> of the high voltage lines yes this this is very very well done indeed great work When you get to look at it from this angle, uh, you can really appreciate the, all the detail that is in this game, and which makes it so unique. And there, <coughs> there we can see the uh, monument, the Motherland Calls monument. Yes, uh, it's a bit forested here, but that's uh, we can see that as uh, resources for future when we uh, when we avoid the t terrible, terrible fossil uh, fuel that we have been that we have built everything upon <coughs> yes uh, or if our great sources were to dry up for some reason we have all this forest forest available to us uh, anyway the statue yes the motherland calls uh, beautiful beautiful and this i would the, the, yes this is the malmbon and this is the ore line uh, as it is known since it was initially built in order to transport iron ore up from Svapavara. What is currently known as Sarfa, well, down to uh, down to Stål, of course. And over there in the distance we can see the tallest viaduct in the... what we... yes, we weren't part of the Soviet Union, uh, officially, but the, we were sort of Eastern Blockish, uh, but we could trade and uh, so on with both sides, uh, without any repercussions. Yes. Uh, because it is now the year, I believe, 1992. Yes, and it is the 30th of January of 1992. Which means the Soviet Union is no more. I hope I didn't get that fact wrong. But, no. Uh, if I did, I am terribly sorry for being such an ignorant Westerner who knows nothing about your history. Anyway, uh, the Soviet Union has collapsed. We appear to have survived. Uh, it doesn't appear to have affected us. Then again, all that we have been doing is riding this train, which is taking a really stupid route to fill up, and now has to go all around the country here. Uh, it is very... We, we do get... One could see this as a blessing, uh, because with this new feature we get to ride a line which would otherwise not have been ridden uh, at this point in time, perhaps. But now it will be. Uh, and there comes an iron ore train trundling along at uh, almost... Do we have a red light? It is an empty iron ore train in ahead of us going up to load in uh, Svapavara. Or, or at least uh, load up on ore from Svapavara. Yes, cheers. Yeah. Uh, Yes, the tallest viaduct in uh, wherever we are, are. Well, now then, 
uh, since the Soviet Union times are officially over and we are a rather healthy uh, little republic here of uh, how many people? 60,600 people which is uh, respectable uh, we have uh, can we tell how many immigrants we have had? I am pretty certain that the number of immigrants are 88 uh, for this entire nation and that we uh, made it by by educating and taking care of the that doesn't look very safe uh, taking care of the uh, native inhabitants of the land and uh, all all prosperity that came off uh, came off all of our endeavors were as we can see put into the pensions fund the dollars pensions fund which is now currently at 608 million dollars well over half a million dollars and um, that ain't bad i don't remember what it was last time uh, no. maybe there's stuff completely broken because well this for example would be an example of something that is broken uh, the audio engine isn't still isn't fixed because the wagons behind me are now very quiet compared to what they were and here we can see Svapavara on the left Svapavara and uh, just to prove it, yes, it actually is called Svapavara <laughs> yes and there was a loaded up uh, war train leaving to head back for Stål what do we have out here? Here's a village. Here's an old uh, village that is actually hooked up to uh, the modern world. So there's a tower block in there. Should people ever decide they they want to procreate uh, beyond the capabilities of the original um, settlements in the village, then uh, they have the option to move in there. And I have provided them with food and electricity and everything. They should be good. However, they uh, I haven't looked in on them in a long time. Uh, and I suppose that, as usual, the, the ing as the ingrates that they are, they are having some sort of issue with something. And that was a beautiful sunset as we're passing by. Um, what is the name of this place anyway? I don't know. I may not have named it. Uh, Properly, uh, but this the fields that we see on the right here is for producing uh, cloth and fabric. Over on the left here, as we see the grain storage for the uh, fabrics industry, the fabrics factory is right next to that huge storage building, and then we see a clothing factory. And there is also another clothing factory just on the other side of the road, and the warehouse, which is overfilled with clothes, and, and we have trucks as well, yes. And um, yes, here we are. Um, riding the train. Uh, I, I really hope that uh, I haven't done something uh, a bit foolish with uh, going on this test branch it is very experimental and there's so much much new stuff in it uh, there's so much new stuff uh, but well if if i can keep my fingers out of uh, that uh, tempting jar blue signal we went straight through where the hell are we are we now approaching no no where? again i find myself not quite knowing where we are Unfortunately, what was that? Are we now? No, this is... Aha! Uh -huh. Found my bearings as the sun went up. We are by the storage uh, area where we have a lot of food and uh, clothes and, and f um, fuel stored up inland uh, where it is safe. Uh, however, this this track isn't intended for through through traffic here and we are on the right side of the track which is wrong but i suppose it's two ways so well you're allowed technically but as you know very well know uh, if uh, 
if the left hand is uh, available to you, that's the one you should take, and like so. But here you have, don't have a choice. As we join up with the Western Main Line, yes, the Western Main Line, we are officially on the Western Main Line, so here we can feel good about doing through traffic, and I, this line does have, I think it has some rather interesting bends and turns and twists to it. Uh, so it's um, in, maybe interesting so, to see from this perspective. The tunnels uh, are just as they were before. <laughs> we are floating <laughs> over the water and after a tunnel we will have an issue with the audio. It will... Uh, maybe it is that you the, the audio in the tunnel is so loud, that, uh, especially when you're sitting on the front of the train like this, that when you come out of the tunnel your eardrums are just you, they have been pounded so badly that they're just ringing and uh, yes and there we go they have settled back apparently and we can now hear the wagons again and I wish, maybe I should stop fiddling with, with the camera there and just leave it at a, a, an angle which uh, you know it's hard to know decide which, which is a, the best angle there's very much lovely nature to look at out here after all, a bush there that we could send someone out to trim a bit, maybe, but uh, no, uh, we don't. We leave it in. And uh, that is one thing of the rails of the that Demokratska Berman is that they go straight through forests and over crests and down valleys and round sharp turns and often, more often than not, they are wiggly. Uh, for wigglish sake almost, but we, you have to build rail like this, uh, especially in this game. Um, it is by far the most efficient and most satisfying way of doing it, because you can, if you find a, a, a ra good route, you can just click through the landscape, uh, which is very nice. Um, and uh, yes, what was I on about? I have I completely lost my train of thought there, and again my eardrums are bleeding apparently from going over the little bridge. Now this is yes, you can get tracks through the train without manipulating the train. Meanwhile, while doing so, and this is what you end up with: <laughs> twisty, twisty track. Which I like because you, you build it, you're building it with the least amount of resistance from the uh, from nature, uh, but then instead you of course have to put a lot more. You have to put a lot of fuel and stuff into moving stuff on the, this rail line compared to a less uh, to, to a more efficient rail line, a straighter one or a more level one, for example. Uh, yes, but so that's not how we do it here. What? Yes, here's another train diesel station out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I imagine that you have run up like half your tank by now by doing this lap around. And I am sure there are plenty of uh, sane places for you to fuel up on your correct route. But since you have the option to do the, to, the long way, you do. <laughs> well, <laughs> then that means that we get to ride long. But we're. Yes, we are still on the western main line. Apparently going single track here. And we're going... Yes, we're going over... This is a bit uh, exciting. Uh, this is uh, the rather tall viaduct. Going uh, over the river here. And of course it's very loud to go on a bridge like this. Yes, properly loud. And this goes straight into a tunnel. Which is a bit exciting. What do we have? Yes, we have less share over there. We have the capital. We have the capital over there. I, of course, know that. Um, yes, we can see the television station. And uh, we're probably listening to the radio as we're riding along here. Whatever where is they're playing right now? Don't know. Uh, my ears are bleeding, so I can't really tell what is playing right now. I imagine it was something lovely, or is something lovely.
Uh, right then, where are we now? Are we at the tunnel that joins us up with the actual main line? Which will take us to our final destination, not final, but uh, to our destination <laughs> for this trip after fueling up. Uh, this should be the tunnel, and after this tunnel there is the, the a single tracked piece of the main line. Probably the largest one actually, with the one that has the most uh, <laughs> rail connections going into it. Yes, good explaining there. Uh, it should be very easy to understand. Or, if not, uh, we shall see the result here. I really do enjoy seeing my railways from this perspective, I have to admit. The thing is that whenever there's a train coming through here, even though it 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 would it should be a bottleneck, it appears to not be a bottleneck, because uh, I rarely see trains waiting here, so well it it may look unintuitive to do it like that. Uh, but it it works. And here we have the food area. On the right, blocked by trains filled with grain, probably. There we go. Food factories. I hope that everything is doing all right, that my republic is not storming. What would I do if, if I were not... I mean, I haven't looked at any numbers or, or carefully. I, I looked at the money, but nothing else. Uh, but one very telling factor will be how many vehicles are available for us to pick up at Göteborg, when we finally make it there after, what has it been, 30 minutes, something like that, uh, of uh, going a complete lap of the Republic here. Uh, yes. There we have the train going by. Yes, the chemical train, the most... I believe it is still the most valuable train in the Republic. When full. Uh, however, if we were to do a vehicles export train and sell uh, dollar, dollar trucks for rubles, uh, we would get a lot of rubles. But it is 92, so I am hesitant to... Uh, to but I know that the game will still allow me to buy stuff in rubles and it will probably be happy to do, do so, but... Um, yeah. After all, the Soviet Union is no more, and... Uh, our neighbors, what, what are those? Who are those? If, if we are Bohemia, uh, that Demokratiska Böhmen... Uh, let's see, can, can we have a look at the minimap here? Now we know since uh, since previous times that we have uh, we have uh, da -da -da -da, what should we call it uh, Soviet Union, Soviet Union, NATO, NATO, and it is <laughs> there are plenty have there have been many pontifications about Vladivostok uh, here, uh, which way north is and so on. Uh, the sun sets uh, uh, in this uh, direction. Uh, both rises and sets in the same direction. And over there is a NATO country. Never mind, uh, wasn't it like uh, that this was the north part of the country, maybe? Would that make sense? I don't know. We are such a small republic, only 60,000 inhabitants, and we may just be a, a little part of uh, somewhere in Bohemia, and it doesn't really matter who, who we have as neighbors. What we do know, however, is that we are helping our neighbors, our good friends, uh, in the previous... Uh, did the game just crash? Oh yes, I... No, it didn't. I really thought it did. <laughs> I really thought it did crash. But no, it appears not to. Seen, however, something happened. Uh, we're still having a red. I will do something. And welcome back. Uh, 
Excuse the interruption, I just want to make sure that there is a good synchronization with the audio and video. Uh, and we are waiting at a signal, and we have been waiting for this signal now for, for a few days, I think. Uh, and here there is too short a block or too long a block or something. And why are you standing? Why aren't you going in? Where are you going? Yes, you're going here. Now it starts. <laughs> now it starts. Could we, we? Let's do this. I just want to see. Follow this train. Uh, let's just follow. Get the train into Seretelia Station and follow it along all the way to Seretelia Station, of course, uh, because that's what this episode has been all about is following this vehicle all through the Republic and we are finally making it to Södertälje where the rails appear to need some optimizations however the power lines are beautiful the moon is full and also rather beautiful and we are going on this crazy railroad and on the crazy junction here, that works. If you just put the train on it, then that is uh, suited to the rail that you have. So if you don't have any uh, electrification on the ra railway, then you're going to need to use a diesel locomotive. Yes, that's what we that's what we have learned. Uh, yes, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Uh, it took hours uh, of fiddling. Uh, but we did get to listen to some great music, now didn't we? And we are finally, finally arriving and they are completely full on trucks for us to load up on. Now then, how is... Um, that happens instantly, okay. And they were probably no engineers or workers. <laughs> I imagine that there is maybe a lot of stuff broken. We shall see. Should we continue on the test branch or should we go back to the officially released one? If everything now is broken from being a reasonably functional republic, uh, then it may stand to reason to, to have this glimpse into the future of possibilities with four... Uh, yes, first-person cameras. But uh, something is wrong. We will find out in the next installment of that Demokratiska Bömen. Thank you so very much for watching. Good night.